All right. So Scherter's sortie. Americans win at game end or at any of any at the end of any game turn if there are no armed unbroken partisan MMCs on board 50 at level three or above, and hexes numbered four or less or sorry four or more. Uh, without suffering the 11 CVP. Capture bonus not applicable. Um, oh, there was one thing I wanted to mention. Uh, uh, you have one guy. Was it one? Uh, yeah, you've got a, a couple guys that can't be uh, where they are. Where they are. Because it says um, uh, set up at level two or above hexes, uh, numbered four or more. So, uh, like these guys, they're on hex number three. And then you had a uh, guy in Q4 is, is uh, on level one instead of level two. I only just noticed that the numbered four, though. I was going to mention the the oh, uh, Q4 guy. Regardless. Um, um, yeah, you know what? Sorry, I, I, oh, yeah, no worries. Did you want Did you oh, want me to just... Uh, like, I'll, I can just have my screen down at the bottom. I'll just look at my own stuff. And that way, like, I'll just chat to, to talk to chat or whatever. And then when you're done, just let me know. That way, like, I'm not looking at, at your stuff as you're repositioning. In case, like, anybody gets, like, unconcealed or whatever. Yeah. Alright, so just let me know when, when it's done, and then uh, we'll, we'll, we'll pan back up. All right, so what are we looking at here? I've got, so I have 12, 15, so I have 15 squads uh, on top of uh, the four crews in the back here. Uh, so uh, I guess for reference, I should mention, oh, I don't want to scroll up. I should mention for reference that, um, so the partisans get uh, a lot of options, so it's going to be tough for me to know specifically uh, what hypno beard my uh, my opponent has chosen. Uh, it's going to be a little annoying, if anything, just because <clears throat> it's a lot of like all the ground is is uh, there's a lot of forest or woods, I should say. There's a lot of hills, hill hexes, some paths, some building, etc. I'll scroll down just a little bit more, just in case. Um, Anyways, there's a lot to, to essentially go through, so I have to make sure, uh, at the very least, that I'm not wasting squads, and that's going to be a little tough when they have uh, six morale. Um, we've seen it in the, I mean, really, the uh, all three uh, previous scenarios with the Americans, where the, uh, the six morale is a liability, but you essentially have to uh, crowd uh, partisan units. So you have to force them to take shots that they don't want or that they don't necessarily want to make um, and uh, essentially just put a lot of pressure on them. Um, meanwhile, I have... So uh, for me, I, gen I basically just have uh, uh, tons of infantry. I also have... <laughs> Excuse me. I also have four leaders and a hero. This is going to come in handy with all the uh, the low morale. I expect to break a lot, but because of the terrain involved, um, I'm hoping that uh, every time I break, I'll be able to route at least to a safe location where a leader will be, um, which is essentially uh, going to reflect by me only moving leaders, or I should only be moving leaders, as uh, the the last unit to move in a uh, in a particular movement phase for me, uh, the units off board are four crews and four MMGs. So I gotta take those MMGs. Um, my plan is to get to the uh, level three hill hexes 
on uh, board 58 get there uh, if i can get these two woods hexes and the open hex that'll be great uh, and from there being able to use the height to uh, try to target units um, uh, in the distance otherwise the uh, the plan will be to uh once if if i'm not particularly ha happy about this position uh, i'll essentially just move up to uh, the the seven hex line now, ultimately, I'd love to have all four machine guns uh, together, if only so that I can generate uh, 16 firepower against a target. Um, otherwise, I can at least get, you know, eight firepower uh, on two targets and, and so on and so forth. Um, what else? Oh, uh, so I've deployed a squad and then split them up. It should be the green squad, so it should be these two guys. Uh, their goal is entirely just to absorb shots, just to try and um, uh, take off concealment from uh, my opponent's units, either by moving into hexes that my opponent is uh, is inside of, or oh, excuse me, or at the very least having them get shot at so that uh, more valuable units can can move up. It should also be noted that um, in a similar fashion to to board 58, the, uh, the one that I'm looking at right now, uh, it's slightly reversed. Uh, the the uh, topography is different. Uh, like there's no, I, don't, I think there's very little grain on the other board. But essentially there's uh, some, <laughs> some open ground. Okay, I'm done. done. Uh, there's some open ground before getting to the um, the opponent's side, so something I have to keep in mind. All right, perfect. Okay. And I'll just keep my uh, my setup the same, just to make it uh, simple. Uh, sniper. Sniper. That there. Three and EF4. Uh, I'll just put them in M3. Uh, I essentially just unconcealed all my guys who were in open ground, just because I, I figured either you'd be able to see them uh, from the level three. Uh, since they don't start uh, concealed, I'm not sure if you have line of sight on FF9. But um, they'll all be gaining concealment, but just to give you what you should see. Yeah, it's alright. You don't have to worry about it. I'm not too worried about it. It's fine. Everyone can see it. That's cool. Alright. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, Trench, crag, was rally train. Partisans may hit one MMC and a score of the missiles stacked with them. Uh, one partisan leader is, is heroic, and I have a leader that starts off board. Perfect. The weather is a seven, so no change. Rally phase, I have nothing to rally. Uh, is there anything else I want to do? Uh, I will attempt to deploy a squad. Task check 8 minus 1 does so. Uh, before you start? Yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you have them lined up there. Okay. Your reinforcements yeah. Yeah, are yeah. In. They're already there. Put out. They are all Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, nothing in rally phase. Anything for you? Okay. No. Nope. Prep fire phase. Uh, no prep fire. Moving phase. Uh, was it BB nine goes into F ten slash BB ten for one.
continues into F9 for two. And F8 for four. Uh, Y10, one of the half squads, the green one, moves up one for one. Continues into I9 for three. And just in case, they'll claim wall advantage. Uh, second line squad in Y10 moves to I10 for one. J9 for two. And K9 for three. Uh, squad in T9, or unit in T9, moves to T10 for two. And continues into N9 for four. Uh, S10 goes to O10 for two. And then into P9 for six. Q10 goes to Q10 for one. Two into Q9. And then Q8 for four. Are you sure? Because the path should be one movement factor. Oh, that's not four. It's three, right? If it's four, they can't do it. If it's three, they can do it. But the I so I was on the impression that path was just made it cost one. So why did you say it cost two? Oh, oh so, sorry, I was counting two to get up there, sorry. Yeah, it's three, uh, three total, right? Or... Okay, that's cool. Hey, it's, because it's four total to get into Q8. One to Q10, one to uh, the path in Q9, and then Q8 is two. And they can't do it. They only have three movement factors. Oh, oh, oh so, fuck! Because I'm green. That's why. Fuck. <laughs> Sorry. Um, in fact, yeah. No, the other guys are fine. They only need three. Uh, uh, O10 goes to S10 for one, and then S9 for three. Yeah, that was annoying in the last <laughs> game, too. Uh, unit goes into U10 for 1, and T9 for 3. Same thing, U10 for 1, T9 for 3. Uh, W10 goes to V10 for two. And then continues into L9 for four. I think that is. Yeah. A810, one squad will go into G10 for two. Okay. Then G9 for three. Uh, other squad will go G10 for 2, H9 for 3. CC10 to F10 for 1. F9 for 2. E9 for 3, E8 for 4, F7 for 6, uh, DD9 to DD10 for 1, 
two and a half, four into DD8. FF9 to FF10 for one, and then just goes essentially north to B7 for four. I'm, I'm wondering, do I have LOS to those guys? Uh, I, I assume you have LOS. Uh, Hmm. We do an invisible check from K5. I think that's the most likely um, source. Yeah, of either. There. I'm not sure if the blind spots. K5 are. should be able to see it. Uh, you just have to reveal a unit to, uh, to reveal them. And not like permanently, just prove that one, someone in there is real. Is that 127? So it's just a it's a four six five four six. I don't know if these guys are also within the depth of the clear. Sure. I mean, I, if you want, I'll check. I, I'm not. I'm honestly not sure that the woods and the the terrain makes it a little bit funky as to where the. Oh no, it's 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 fine. I don't I don't mind because at worst, like here, they should be they should be fine. So they'll they'll just regain it. Uh, what else? What else? Um, one unit. Actually, they'll reveal anyways. Uh, if they would unconceal automatically. Uh, so E E ten to B ten for one, B nine for two, uh, B eight for three, and B seven for four. And then the rest in EE10 will go to DD10 for one, uh, DD9 for two and a half, and then join DD8 or D8 for four. Uh, over in the bottom, gonna have the guys on the right are going to uh, CX. So one. Three, five, six. Guys, uh, the other group is uh, CXing as well. One, two, three, five, seven. And lastly, uh, this guy in M10. Go to U10 for one. And then U9 for 5. Uh, defensive fire. Nothing okay. right now. Uh, advanced fire phase. Uh, do I have any way I can even shoot? No. Nope. Uh, no routes. Advances. Uh, B7 is going to have one guy to B6, one guy to C7. D8 stack is going to go into D7. F7 will go into F6, F8 into F7, G9 into H8. Uh, yeah. Is that to CX? Oh, you got a CX. Um, other squad beneath will also do the same thing. Uh, the green guy is going to go into the building, in I8.
K9 will go to L8, L9 to M9, N9 to O9, P9 to P8, Q9 to Q8, S9 to R8, and then T9 into U9. Oops. Uh, this guy in V3 is going to go to V4. I think he has to lose concealment. Uh, and the stack in Y4 goes to the advanced phase. And we'll do Y5. Everybody, CC phase, no CC. Uh, Russian turn one, her bullshits. Sorry, not sure why that fair twice, but okay. Uh, no weather changing. I have no rallies. Do I have anything? Hmm. Uh, I will attempt to deploy. That succeeds. Oops. All the way around. There we go. And uh, that's it. Prep fire. Okay. That's all movement. Okay. That's all movement. Okay. Assault movement. Okay. And assault movement. Okay.
Uh, that's it for movement. Okay. Defense fire. Uh, the only defensive fire will be from these two groups, and they will just reassemble their machine guns. Advancing fire. Not right. Is there any route? Yeah, nope. Just advances. change uh, nothing to rally mm. uh, no prep uh, movement phase CX's will come off B4 will go to W5 nor, uh, as an assault move. Okay. Uh, two crews in Y5 will assault move to X5. The last MMG will go to X4 as a normal move for one, and then into W5 for three. Leader will go to X4 and then W5 for 3. Alright. Uh, squad in I8 moves to uh, I7 for 3 as an assault move. Okay, I don't think I can actually see. Uh, you never know when you have. I don't know where your hip units might be. This Play it safe. Oh, this guy can't go anywhere. That sucks. Uh, hmm. Half squad and F seven CXs goes to E seven for one. Bypass E6, F6 for 2. And then F5 for 4. Uh, squad B6 goes to C6, normal move for 1. C5 for 3. C7 squad goes C6 and goes D5 for 3. You know, it's kind of weird that they don't let you check it unless you've got fire. Uh, it's just so that, because otherwise it would count as a as a shot. You can, you can check for uh, uh, concealment loss. That one's free. Uh, I think there's. I forget if what the uh, what this specific thing is. No, I'm saying it's weird. You think that my guys would actually know where they could shoot, like where they could see? But... So, so the idea is that if you want to do that, you would do it uh, before the game. So that means that I have to either write down or remember every yes, single hex which is, that I wish to have line of sight. It's a little silly, yes. Yes, it is very silly. I'm, I'm not... No, I understand the game. I'm just saying it's very frustrating because the LOS rules are super complicated, particularly in this particular corner of the map, because we have height advantage, we've got woods on top of that, yeah. we've got buildings, it's nuts. And so, yeah. Like, I feel like I need to, uh, like... Uh, I should take 
like at night where I'm not doing anything and just like write up, try to see if I can write up a, a good enough uh, uh, explanation of like every LOS type or whatever. I have this, this thing where I, I would like to shoot at your guys as they're kind of moving up because it's pretty open terrain and it gets kind of mm -hmm. yucky from where you are. But at the same time, I am fairly sure that there's a very narrow window where I can actually see you. And if I don't, then I have to start revealing units because, you know, that counts right, as a yeah. shot kind of thing, which means that they lose concealment, which is a good chunk of my defense, mm -hmm. to be honest. So, yeah. yeah, no, just I'm I'm not saying it to, to, to complain or anything. I'm just saying it's, it's an interesting observation that it's kind of annoying that I, I don't have any clear idea of where I can actually fire until I start Yeah, playing. I feel like that that comes with like the more you play, the more you just know type idea. Um Okay, so hmm, that's not ideal. Uh Q eight will move to R eight for uh one. Uh, U9 goes to U8 for one, U7 for two. Uh, and then uh, T6 for six. Okay. Uh, P8 will assault move to Q8. O9 uh, goes to P8 for 2, and then into Q8 for 3. Craig is how much again? L8, assault moves to L7 as an assault move. I think you're actually in the blind spot for everybody that's up on top of the hill. Uh, I think so, yeah. Um... Uh, M9 assault moves to M8 for four. Uh, one squad in H8 goes to G8 for one. G7 for three. Other squad in H8 goes to H7 for two, and then H6 for four. Uh, one unit in D7 goes to D6 as a normal move for one. I'm gonna check out okay. from up here. Yeah, so I think, uh, let me do some, yeah, LOS is broken. All right, so let's, let's do LOS. It was A6. Uh, blind hexes, I'm assuming you're otherwise clear, even if firing or target unit is at an elevation higher than the height equivalent of any intervening full level obstacle. The number of potential target hexes are both directly behind that, etc. Now, you would be 
four levels of armor. Uh, so for every multiple of five hexes to a full to a full level obstacle, uh, increase by one the number of blind hexes created by obstacle. Uh, so you are one, two, three, four, five. So you're, technically you're five. It's fractions or six, but it's fraction around the downs. So it's one. Um, for every full level elevation advantage uh, above one level over uh, an obstacle, decrease the number of blind hexes created by that one obstacle by one to a minimum of one. Yeah, no, you're still in a blind spot from the six. Because of the minimum one. Right. Alright. Uh, so they continue into E6 for three. Uh, and then I'll just have the other guys do the same thing. Okay. Uh, F6, they will move into F5 for two as a normal move. Okay. And that continues into F4 for four. And uh, that's it for moves. I can't see anymore. It's already in. Oh, sorry. Um. Hmm. No, that's not worthwhile. Uh, rev phase, no revs. Advanced phase. Hmm. C5 to D4. D5 to D4. Uh, the CX uh, half squad will go into F4 for two. F4 will go into F3 for four. Uh, one unit in E6 goes to F5. The other group goes to E5. I7 to J6. H6 to I6, G7 to G6, L7 to L6 and CX. N8 to O8, CXs. T6 will have one 
Unit going to S7. Q8 is going to split up quite a bit, so... They will go to R7, CX as a result. Uh, one group in Q8 will go to P7, the other goes to Q7. Let's see axis. Um, shouldn't P7 have to see X uh, as well? No. Oh. I think that's it. And does the leader bonus apply to advanced I'm movement sorry, factors? What? Does the leader bonus apply to advanced yeah. movement factors? That's it for advances, no CC. Um, I'm going to claim concealment with R8. I think just about everybody could claim concealment with the maybe exception of F3. Uh, these guys can't. Yeah, they're in the, they're in the lead of that, 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 the blind spot of that. Uh, no, K, K5 can see it because K5's uh, above. So this would be a, a continuous slope. It shows that you wouldn't be able to see uh, where they got in from, like where they ended, so H6 and I7. You can see, but you can see those two hexes. Um, okay. I'm fairly certain you can see G6 with the same K5 group. These guys can't claim it. Uh, I'm not going to bother with these guys. D4 can claim it. Oh, uh, hold on. I think I have to roll, actually, for it. Concealment. Only if they're in open ground. If they're in concealment terrain, you never get it. Why do I always think it's... Oh, yeah. Beyond... Right, okay. So that... Uh, yeah, I don't think anybody else can, can claim it. Um... Energy beyond... No, oh, they're not the M16. Okay. So no CC. Uh, Russian turn two. Alright, uh, hold on a second. I need to go say yep, goodnight to I'll be right back. This is going by fast, but the four turns is still going to be bloody for this. Since I probably won't make ground, I'll probably only make ground like one hex per turn. Let me get them off everything here and here. Which, uh, no bueno. Another thing, too, is that. Uh, it's not really doing me any favors to see one fire? No, that's not okay.
All right, sorry. They're they're over at the grandparents. So they're, yeah, no worries. They're, they're very excited. It's very <laughs> right, the weather change. I don't think we got any routing or rallying going on at this point on my side. Uh, none for me. These guys will reveal, and then they will fight okay. those guys. So, going to be a four mm -hmm. up one, I believe. Movement. Okay. I am assault with him. Okay. And assault with him. Right. Assault move. Assault move. That's fire. Damn, I can't believe I'm off me. Sucks. Um, high six will shoot at J four. For a, uh, a two up one shot. That's not very. L6 will shoot a K5 for a two up uh, three. Gives you a sniper. Uh, CX and then your trench. Oh, yeah, anyway, sorry. Uh, and That's also your sniper. Uh, that was a five. It's a uh, miss. Oh, sorry, it was a four, but a three. Yeah. Uh, now the fun part. Come on. The machine guns. Uh, we'll all shoot at uh, I'll shoot at M5 uh, they should be at half already yeah for range 12 so it's instead of 16 it's 8 but it's down it's halved again for them being concealed so it's a 4 up 2 shot of 
Uh, yeah. One MC. That's one MC. Of course. Yeah, it's one of those. This is one of those things where it's like. I like getting low rolls, but it's kind of dumb when it happens in those circumstances. Well, no. I mean, you know, you're revealing a bunch of truths, and you're uh, probably going to break it. Yeah, but. I mean, I don't know. What's that? Oh. But they are revealed. Uh. Wait, why'd you roll three times? I didn't. Sorry, you know what? I read those wrong. one potential shot, but it just makes me hate the fact that we're not using IIFT, so I will skip it. Uh, advancing. I mean, I don't mind going up using the IIFT. I think it might be Yeah, I think, point. um, I was thinking we'd do it at a, uh, uh, once we get a, a scenario that has a lot of support weapons, um, I think the next one might be a good candidate, or, um, not in two from now. There's another big one, with like Japanese and stuff. I think that one might be interesting. Because, actually, maybe not the Japanese one. Anyways, point is, is that uh, when you have um, when you have units like this, which is which has five, unless you can get unless you have support weapons with three, you're never getting anything that like truly feels like you're getting the value out of it. It's why. Um, uh, it's why you see people kind of lament the fact that they don't shoot with uh, like an LMG if you have it, but it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you not? If you were in a, like a real life situation, why would you not use an LMG uh, if you had it? And the only reason is because you know a seven does nothing. So why would you? You're just you just had the chance of breaking it. So there's no point. But, uh, yeah, uh, regardless, uh, yeah, I'll just, I'll skip on shooting that. Uh, route phase. Route rally train, okay. so you just stay put. I have nothing. Advanced phase, yeah. We'll advance into the trench, which I believe is the exit. Uh, yes. It doesn't matter, I don't. Because yeah. be... Hold on. Uh, can you advance straight into it? Yes. And how much would it cost? Here's a tree. Trench cost of terrain star. One moving factor to enter and exit. So no, they don't have to. It would just cost three because the it's open ground. These guys do see X when they advance. Okay. They're going there. in there. Stack will actually eat out of the foxhole. Okay. 
I don't know why, I swear to god, I'm almost... Is you... I, just want to make I, I feel like you're also having, uh, like, a broken mouse problem, like me. Well, I mean, this mouse is pretty brand new, the charge is up, like, I don't know, yeah, it's it's weird. Um, yeah. Just too excited. <laughs> okay, I'll have to kick the sensitivity <laughs> down a little bit. Alright, uh, no rallies for any, or rally face actions, rep fire. Hmm. Uh, the machine guns will shoot at K5. Uh, I think that's also 12 range. 11, 11. So it's uh, halved to 8, but plus 2. 9 on 8 is a PTC. I6 will shoot at J4 for a 2 up 1, doesn't matter. And that's it for prep fire. Let's take off these CXs. One unit in D4 will CX, goes to C4. For one, and then into C3 for four, which that should absolutely be viewable. Okay. The other unit in D4 goes to D3. Uh, for two as normal move, then F or E three for three. Uh, that should also be a uh, consumer loss. I'm pretty sure K five can see it. Uh, yep. And then, oops, F two for four. The squad in F3 goes to G3 as a normal move for one. Continues into H2 for three. Uh, and then the 7 0 leader follows the same path. Okay. Uh, half squad in F4 goes to G4 for two. Stops there. Squad in L6, okay. Assault moves to K6. Uh, J6, Assault moves... Oh, wait, wait, wait. sorry. Back, 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 back. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out whether I want to okay. actually fire two or not.
the machine gun will unconceal and okay. fire at you. It's a uh, four flat. So. Or sorry, uh, it's a uh, yes, it's yeah, for a yeah. It's, it's not yeah. Open, but it is open. Right? About the game. So, do they even fire? Uh, let me check. I think even on. Like for. Yeah, I, I think they would leave it for wizards or purposes. Hold oh, on. Residual. 8.2. Or the amount of residual for a power formed by a cowering attack is reduced since cowering. Yada yada. But a uh, malfunction. Residual FP is not gained for an attack by a malfunctioning weapon. Nor by a unit that makes a small arms attack. Original 12 by the. Oh, I did not. Oh, while suffering ammunition source. Okay. Um. I'll go ahead and move the green yeah. that spot there. So that's an assault move. These guys will want to get some fire trip. It's a six flat. So five on six. The ILT. <laughs> yeah, one MC. Breaks and what's my ELR in for? And ELRs. No, it has to be. Yeah, there. but it's uh, it's always the final number. So it's because it's a one MC, it's eleven, which is five over. Yeah. Uh, with five. Uh, so they disrupt. So let's say we're already green. Let's not disrupt. Do you think that leaves what four? Uh, two. Or two. That is halved. Units if infantry. There we go. G6 moves to H5, normal move for one. Okay. I think I can see it. And then H4 for three. Okay. F5 goes to G5 for one. Uh, and then. Uh, can I see you? I think I. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Here. At four. Uh, so I think from. No, I think you're in the blind spot because of the what, I, what? the I five hex. That actually yeah, I think I five blocks K five, and then the other uh, I four would block K four. I think. Uh, Sorry. Okay. okay. Yep. Uh, no, they no. continue to H five for three. E5 goes to E4 for 2, then E3 for 3, I think, uh, I'm just going to draw uh, uh, K4 to E3, I th think they would see him, so he'd be 
H3 is going to be the control. H3 hunter. would be at the height of uh, J3. So, mm-hmm. so that I would be think three. that would block so, it. Because they're inter. Well, how far is the blind spot behind it? Because I'm at four from yeah. each one. So. So it's a question of whether you're in the blind spot or not. That's the... No, wait. Uh, no, you're in the blind spot from F3. So yeah, you want that. They will continue into F2 and reveal. Because at, I think at that point they are going to be seen. Yeah, I think they're they're out of the time spot from, yeah. from these guys here. In Q7, we'll have one unit assault move into P6. Second unit follows. Same thing. Assault move. Okay. okay. Uh, I will have one unit from P7 goes to Q7 as an assault move. R7 assault moves to R6. Go no, there are, or else that would be, uh, I would need to CX. R8 assault moves to R7. Uh, they have to CX. Yeah. S7 goes to S6 as an assault move, but has the CX. The units in T6 uh, do the same as an assault move, but don't have to CX. Yeah, don't forget if you get green units stacked, the leader of the green doesn't apply for an agent, I believe. If it's a little funky there. I think that's just conscripts. National distinction. I thought it applied to green units as well, but I could be wrong. Inexperienced personnel, what was that? No. Uh, so what it is, it's 19.3. Um, a green MMC stack with an unbroken leader is exempt from restricted rules of an experienced personnel right. would always apply to conscripts who are Alright. So they're fine. Yeah, like there's a way to use green troops well, but it involves stacking them with a lot of leaders and putting them in big groups. I think. Yeah. You need to kick him in the in the ass to get him to do anything. Uh, 08 will assault move into P7. Okay. And then uh, P7 will assault move into 07. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, that's it. Defensive fire. Okay. These guys want to conceal and fire okay. that squad. So that's going to be a six flat. flat. Nothing at least we have to break our machine gun. These guys do all I'm considering. It's my hero, yay. Uh, they will actually fire at this okay. X. So, so, so. so I think that is going to be an eight. I don't know if it's flat. Uh, or so it's because it's doubled halved. It's so it's uh, four flat. Seven on six, yeah, seven on four is a PTC. Cash check passes, and it's a 9-2 leader. Okay. And then these guys on hip and open up on this side. All right. So that's going to be six doubled to twelve and then half. Uh, six so up one. Back to the Machine gun here will fire at the uh, half squad there. So that's going to be a four mm -hmm. flat, I think. I think there's nothing we done for yet. Uh, you do have rate of fire. Do it? Oh, yeah, well, we'll fire again then. Yeah. Exactly the same number. <laughs> These guys will unconceal and fire okay. at them. So it's going to be a two flat, I believe. Uh, from the squad? That's a four. Yeah. They're not concealed. Oh, right, right. Yep. Uh, so four flat. <laughs> I'm, I'm really worried that law of averages will kick in because it just means you're going to get like 14 twos in a row. Uh, okay, advanced fire. Yep. Uh, advanced fire. Uh, the greens in 07 will shoot at uh, 05. Uh, that's uh, 4 up 2. That's a miss. Uh, squad in K6 shoots at the, uh, the crew uh, as a 2. Up two? Nope. These guys are concealed. Uh, H2 to K4 as a two up two shot. Uh, two, two, five, NMC and that's my sniper. Yeah, it's a normal object. No sniper.
Uh, R6 will reveal. Uh, and we'll shoot into Q6 as a 6 up one shot. Cowers to 4, uh, 7 PTC. Affect the other one. Oh, it wouldn't matter. Uh, that's it for fans fire route phase. Uh, these guys uh, should immediately be captured. Let's see your disruption. Uh, so a, um, a disrupted unit will surrender at the start of any red phase it begins adjacent to, uh, or during any phase. Oh, I guess I should have done that uh, uh, earlier in the move phase. Essentially, um, no wait, that's the same. Never mind. Uh, essentially, it automatically get captured. I, I can't even. I can't move away. Period. So uh, these guys lose that. So you can either reject it. Uh, capture it with J4 or capture it with K5. Prisoners, half squad. I mean, honestly, it doesn't particularly help me. I probably should just no quarter them. Well, it is a half squad, so it's it's one CVP. Off. Take off preps. Uh, that was it for my rats. Okay. The one guy, he's already in terrain, okay. so just gonna save it. Uh, actually, no, let me, let me take that. Yeah, back. Sure, move him around. He's okay. in the route over here. The trench line there. Advances. H4 goes to I4, has to CX. H5 goes to I5, has to CX. K6 will go CC into K5. Uh, I6 to J6. G4 to H4. H2 to... Actually, not they won't move. Um, one squad in F2 will go to F1 and CX. The other two will go into G2. Uh, down here, I'm going to have this weird split going on. Later, we'll go into there. Uh, so essentially one MMG goes to Y6, one into X6, and two into W6. The leader goes into X5. Uh, these concealed units in P6 will advance into Q6. The uh, squad in R6 will join. 
so will the leader. The green squad in 07 goes to P6. Uh, I'll have the concealed unit follow. Guys in R7 will go to Q7. And then the stack in S6 goes to R5. You see, uh, let's do the Q6 one first. Uh, so ambush roll. CC. So you have one guy pinned. So it's a plus one. Uh, Concealed units, but I forget if they have to. If it's one, all of them. Um, huh. Can hero not apply to ambush? Ambush, whatever, infantry. Hero. I'm learning something here. Is this guy? Is this? Alright. Hero is always Yeah, so you stealthy. get a minus one for that. Uh, so. Uh, well, you stay at five, was it? Yeah, okay. And then I have the minus two for my leader. Alright, so. There's an ambush. Uh, so I'll just. I'll just attack the entire stack. Um, I'm at four, nine, ten with the leader versus uh, four. So I have a two to one. Uh, for reference. So you ambushed. Yeah. Ambush me. Um, sorry, I was. I was just looking at my concealed guys. Um, I get a minus two, and that's it. So that is infiltration. Infiltration, A11.22. Uh, provided it's not been. Uh, do you have to reveal if they're attacking in CC? Uh, well, um, I take that back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, provided it has not already been eliminated, captured, or pinned, any infantry cavalry unit which rolls an original, uh, sorry, any infantry cavalry attacked by an original 12 CCDR may likewise withdraw from CC immediately thereafter, assuming it has not been eliminated by that 12 CC dice roll. So you haven't been eliminated. Um, I think the pin forces the, the squad to stay there, but the hero can get out of dodge. then because regardless yeah you can the the six one heroic guy can immediately withdraw so the hero doesn't attack but you can get out of there essentially
The question, I guess, is whether withdrawing is considered movement. Like it is, but is it considered such for purposes of the rules? I don't know. Uh, which is accessible to that unit under normal advanced phase conditions. So uh, the squad wouldn't be able to. So the hero okay. will bail. And then it's whatever, uh, whatever you want to attack. I mean, it's going to be less than one to one no matter who I attack. Yeah, but I mean, you could attack. Uh, so you're at one point five. So it's going to be a one to two against either of the two half squads. Um, going to be. You could do one to four targeting one to four. the squad and the leader. That would be the only options. Unless both half squads, and then it's still one to four. Yeah, why not? We'll we'll attack the squad. Okay. Over here. Yeah, it turns into melee. See, now that's going to be a juicy uh, hex to shoot at. Uh, then over here, so it's uh, I'm at two to one. There's no ambush. Um, no. No modifiers. Leadership guarding broken unit. Nope, so straight two to one. Um, my firepower is oh, my firepower is not halved, and uh, they they would it would be halved uh, on on the attack, so you'd be uh, one to four. But uh, a second twelve in a row means <laughs> you, you can go wherever you want. Yeah. yeah, I'm pinned. <laughs> I'm just going through this. Yeah, I can't move anyway. So, alright, here we go. Um... Three or less. Oh, God. Good night. Uh, that's it for that. And pins come on. change. Don't think I've got anybody. Uh, rallies? Yeah. No, uh, I do, yeah. And you got the uh, MMG. Uh, okay. Yeah. Actually, hold on. Did you roll to repair that gun last time? Oh, so oh, oh okay. Uh, okay, uh, the... Does it matter no, if I do DM or not first? Matter. Do you care? Alright, so the undmed unit... Passes. ...will rally and hit the leader in the trench run. And the DM'd unit... ...will not rally. But will lose there. And, sorry, um... No, eliminated. that stays. That's a six. You rolled a five. You rolled a... I'm sorry, it looked like a five. I thought it was a five. Well, you jackasses keep working on it. 
We need a multi-tool. If only those were invented. Oh, they're about to get the <laughs> multi-tool called uh, bayonet to the head. <laughs> so, you know. uh, I think that's it for me. Uh, no, I don't have anybody. Fire. Wee, wee, wee. Yes, we are going to fire into me. <laughs> Why not? I don't care at this point. Uh, all right, so let's see. It's going to be 6, 7. It's going to be 12, 14. That's the Is same it way against K5 or are we looking at Q6? Uh, okay, Q6. so, all right. So it's uh, 12 flat. Excuse me. Eight on twelve. What MC? What uh, MC? What? Uh, leader, squad, half, half. Uh, one of your snipers, and my first half squad breaks. Squad Eat a battle. Good All right. I, I watch him go berserk for no reason. So it's a two dice. Need a battle. Two dice, and then mm -hmm. one. Partisans get plus one. No Russians, so we get plus two. Wait, does Russian and partisan? I think it's just partisan. Yeah, I think they're just partisans. They're not Russian Russians. Yeah, I just want. It'd be really weird if, if they it stacked. I don't think there's anything that says so. Yeah, no. Okay. So just plus one. So it is a two Yeah, two dice. Uh, do we need to do like the sniper and all uh, that? No, first? we can save it till afterwards. Uh, so they. And they surrender. <laughs> Because they can potentially come back. Uh, you have rate of fire. Oh no! Wait, never mind. Actually, does the there's something weird about heroes and rate of fire? No. No. Okay. Yeah, no melee there anymore. That guy's broken. Uh, oh, yes. Sniper. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. Direction two, five hexes. Breaks. Uh, J six. Well. That was silly.
Uh, M5 will fire at J6. I think I can see them. Uh, I believe so. Well, maybe not. No, because there's that extra hex in between them, I think, because it's not a continuous slope. K4 can fire at I4, though, yeah? Uh, no, uh, hold on. You're, the, the guy can't shoot there. If you look at um, uh, A10.2, the, uh, the second example uh, shows you can. Uh, if you look at the... Um, Oh, sorry, B10.2. God. Why I was... Uh, it's the, the Hill Chapter. There's a... At least in mine. I don't know if the, the electronic uh, rulebook has the same photo. Um, if it does, though, the second photo shows... Uh, essentially the same situation. It's different heights, but um, the height difference is the same. And uh, M5 can, can see there. It's going to be a two leader directed, so two okay. flat. K four will fire at I four. Okay. Okay. That's mm -hmm. Two up one. So I think O5 can see into P6. Uh, yes, because the uh, the woods in P5 doesn't cross the exit. So they will fire at okay. P6. So it's a six up one against the so unconcealed, and then a two up one versus the concealed guy. So eight on six is a pin test check, and then the concealed guys don't do anything. And yet, right. And the green guy pins. And we will fire again. So it's a uh, two fire power. So that's a uh, normal morale check against the green guy, and uh, that's. It's going to be a one, so pin test check against the other guys. So morale check breaks instead of. In. Click on his drop and then task check and they pin. And I think that's your sniper? Uh, no, that's yours. Oh. No, my sniper is three. My sniper is unfortunately. Um, okay, um, I think that's everybody. All right. These are assault rooms. Okay. All right. A trench added one uh, to move into that hex. Yeah, I think. Um, what's it say in the trench there? Chart. Trench is cost of terrain, and then 
uh, one moon factor to enter or exit. Alright, so these guys with prisoners are going to jump into cave okay. form. As I said. Squad here is going to move into the melee. Okay. Okay. The trench line. And that's everybody. Defensive fire. Uh, Q six will shoot. At uh, P5. Um, half squad can't shoot, so it's just the uh, just the full squad. So it's a eight, uh, eight down one, uh, five on eight, uh, two MC. Uh, is that a wound? That was the for the that was for the bureau, so we can check and see what happens. I think it's just a wound check. Casualty MC, casualty MC. Casualty MC. A hero, berserk leader, is wounded. And must add plus one as if already wounded. Really? Okay. Uh, so you do a wound check uh, on the the leader, but he doesn't break. So is that a uh, one, two dice or one? And he's he's just wounded. Does he apply that DRM? Uh, no. Wound check is the only thing, as far as I know. Oh, no, no. The squad and no. Yeah, they break. Oh. Uh. Actually. A roll the six is a two MC, right? So. Yeah, but I'm just trying to think of. Uh. Is a heroic leader supposed to? Normally they would be he would be a plus one because he's a crap. Decline, non zero and performing the Mirai. MCTC rally ambush concealment integrity. Okay, yeah, there's no exception for heroic. Okay. Um Yeah, sorry, I just try to think of stuff. Um, let's see what I can get out of I4. We'll shoot K4 for uh, 4 up 3. The MMGs will shoot uh, K5 into the melee as a 16 up 2. Uh, 10 on 16. Uh, normal morale check. My guy breaks. <laughs> And no other shots.
So it's your crew rolling a 12, big casual yeah. damage, right? All the dice are loving Yeah, no tonight. kidding. It's... Seven, seven, two. Uh, all right. Any other advance fire? Yeah. Or, oh, sorry, advance no, sorry, advance fire. Uh, I don't have any. So I can't do it. Okay. Uh, red face. I have to yep. route first, so congratulations. Get my machine gun. Uh, well, my guy's broken, so I won't be able to get that any machine gun anyways. So P5 can actually route into uh, O5, and the leader can go with. Yep. Uh, now, my question is is can can m5 see j5 no okay uh they will route to oh hold on you don't have to that's what's no like but i'm trench. i'm adjacent i can't be adjacent uh they have to uh they're they have to surrender because j5 is in sight of k4 uh, and I can't go to K6, and I can't go to J4 because it's adjacent to K4. So that's another uh, half squad prisoner. You can either uh, K4 or L4 can grab him. I will throw him on K4. Why not? Cool. Um. Or a yeah, yeah, it was a house one. Uh, can I rope this guy that way? Can K four C J six? He can. Wow. Okay. Uh, that's one, two, three. Four, well, remember it's broken, so it's gonna show us positive. LOS yeah, but uh, if you draw the line, it it doesn't clip. Uh, both sides of uh, like the hill isn't on both sides of the line, so they can see it. So my guy can red to I six, but that's it. Um, my guy in Q six won't move. Uh, and the guy in P six will route to Q six. Yep, that's uh, that's it for its advance phase. This guy's a little advanced okay. trench. I think they have to. Oh, I thought you would have grabbed it with the um, the same squad that already had one. The other thing you can technically do uh, is um, you could split a uh, one of your squads, one of the, the squads to be half squads, but I don't really think it's, I'm not sure if you would consider that a, a bonus. You'd get, um, essentially you're trading a 337 for uh, yeah, no, I'm fine with it. We'll, we'll leave those two there. One, two seconds. Okay. 
hope I can't get this MMG fixed, those, uh, those happy, uh, crewmen might end up being guards. <laughs> I think that's it for advances. Uh, no more CC. Those all ended in spectacular fashion. Those all ended in... Weather, no change. That peels off. Uh, rallies. Uh, I six will tempt the self rally. Nope. I'll take the D on lock. And then my guys in Q six. Uh, so top squad first. Uh, doesn't rally. Bottom squad does not rally. But both of them will lose their um, their DM. All right, uh, we will start in M five with un DM okay. squad. Rally. Yeah, rally. Rally. Plus the leader plus the trench. And the uh, DM squad also rallies. I think they will. Also rally. Thanks. Well, that's slightly better. Uh, over here, this horrific leader uh, will attempt to rally. And the net plus four. Yeah, he cancels yeah. out the, uh, the terrain. So, but they will just. Uh, fixing my machine gun. Nope. Uh, this okay. guy rolled to pick up. If you want the MMG, I will right there and fix it up. Alright, prep fire. Uh, the two MMGs on the left, so X6 and Y6, will shoot at K5 for uh, 4 up 2. That's nothing. And the other two uh, will shoot at uh, M7. Also, is that the exact same roll? No. But also nothing. And moving phase. The green uh, half squad will go CX to assault move into R6. Oh, I have to drop my CX. P6 assault moves to P5. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we'll fire on you from okay. 05. So 12 uh, up one. 
nine on twelve is an M sixteen. Uh, it passes, but uh, your sniper. Oh wait, sorry, that's my sniper. Fuck. And they did not rate, so I think they're yeah. first fire. Nope, just Final first fire. But I think they get what? Um, four? Uh, six. If you're talking about residual. That is very not uh, something cool to uh, run into. I'm just gonna remove a I'm going to remove a concealment there. Do this now. Um, uh, Q6 will assault move to P6. Uh, R5 assault moves to Q5. H2 goes to I2 for 2 as a normal move. Continues to J2 for 6. Alright. Uh, G2 goes to H1 for 1. Continues to I1 for 2. And J1 for 4. C3 goes to uh, just an assault move to D2 for 4. Uh, F1 goes to G1 for 1, H1 for 2, and I1 for 3. Okay. Dumb greenies, CX, to go uh, assault move into uh, I4. Okay. I5 assault moves to J4. Uh, machine gun and K5 okay. will open up on them. Just machine gun or machine gun squad? Machine gun squad, sorry. It's uh, 6 up 1. Seven on six is an MC. That passes, but loses can see. I 
I think that's also a six. Because it's a uh, 12 fire power. Wasn't it the final one? Uh, it six? Then? I don't think it counts uh, concealment. All right, can you undo that? I had both things selected oh. and deleted them. Okay. Anyway, sorry about that. Just doing yeah. Uh, uh, I four assault moves to J three. J four will fire at them. So it's gonna be six yeah. down one, I believe. That's a four on six, which is uh, two MC. One MC. Four on oh. six is Sorry. two MC. Did you see that wrong one? Uh, two MC, they pin, and your sniper. The guys in Q8 will assault move into P or Q7, sorry, will assault move into P6. Uh, and then uh, in desperation, X5, the leader will go CX. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. So I don't know if you want to shoot at him at any of those points? Uh, no. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, that's it for move. Defensive fire. Well. K5 is going to fire at Ten. J4. So I believe the machine gun is halved twice. Uh, so it's you're you're just uh, doubling then halving. So it's a uh, six firepower up one. Five will fire at okay. P five. So six of one. P6 is going to have units drop concealment uh, and they will all shoot at uh, 05. So that's a uh, uh, 12 flat. 5 on 12. Uh, 2 MC. P5 will shoot at P4 for a uh, 6 up 1. K5 
cowers, so that'll be a miss. J4 to K5 as a 6 up 2. Miss. Uh, the units in J2 and J3 will uh, combine to shoot K4. Uh, I believe that's a. Let's have twice. Uh, two. That guy's have. So it's a 6 up 2. No other shots. Road phase. Uh, I have nobody that uh, must route. Oh, uh, your guy in uh, P4 has a should have a DM. I believe he surrenders. Uh, you can route to uh, P3. Because I don't think he sees anybody else. Okay. Advances. Hmm. Let's do the non hard ones, I guess. Uh, P5 will go into uh, O5. Uh, I'm going to have both green squads and P6 go to O6. Leader and squad will go to P5. I'm just going to work that with the CC. Uh, concealed stack will go. Uh, in with your own in P4. Oh, I should have whatever. Um, Hero and J and uh, guys in J1 will go to K2. I th think that should see excellent. J4 is going to go to K4. Uh, I1 will go to J1. R6 will just go in Fox 1. Uh, leader in I9 goes to I8. The MMGs will go to Y7, X7, and W7. Um, I4 will go to I5. Squad and G2 will go to K3. And that's it for Vinces. Uh, you see. Uh, do you want to do uh, P4 first? It's your choice. Oh, well, P4 first, 
I have a feeling those guys are can are fakes. Swim. Uh, oh five, I suppose. Uh, no ambush. Uh, I'm at a one to one, and you're at a one to four. for me yeah kill in the foxhole uh, and then prisoner guy um, I don't think the prisoners do anything I think they have to be broken for the prisoners to do something there's also no ambush Unless it mainly exists. Oh, okay. So. They can join in if yeah. this going. Try to join. Okay. Alright, I think you're at a 1 to 1. I'm at a. Uh, would I be at a 3 to 2? So I'm at a three to two, and you're at a one to two. I'm getting lucky on these CCs. Uh, and hey, you rearm the prisoners. Rearm the escapes. The same location with the army that surrenders to form can be immediately. I think only one of them does. Um, one attacking unarmed friendly unit of equal or smaller size is rearmed immediately. Okay, so only only one of them rearms. Uh, and goes green. So technically they're green now. And the other squad is just they're just regular dudes. Yeah. So they're not prisoners, they're just unarmed dudes at this point. Uh, Alright. Russian turn four. No, oh, pins come. Do you have yeah. an actual unit in there? Yeah, uh, I'll just reveal this guy. Congrats, you have prisoner. Oh, sure they surrender. Uh, no, they wouldn't surrender. I don't have any Yeah, but it's rally phase, doesn't matter. You still, uh, you still attempt rally. You don't surrender till. Uh, the... I don't have anywhere they can. They have. They can't be adjacent. Uh, in the rally phase, yeah. Yeah, they only surrender. They would only surrender in the uh, red phase. Oh no, they still have to save people. Yeah. Because they're adjacent. So they're going to survive. Uh, I think the only... No, yeah, they, they will surrender. Uh, unless I stay hidden, yep. then they're, they're not counted as known. Not that there's a point for me to do that, but whatever. Um, 
I don't have anybody to that can rally. Airing my gun, Sweet. yay! I mean, you say that, but you're adjacent to trench. Yeah, and it hasn't helped well, me in the slightest. This is when it starts coming. It's the way the market is. You're in a trench. You're still getting a plus two, even though I'm adjacent to you. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Well, it's it's so still 12 far pain. Is going to fire okay. at the trench next. It's going to be a mm -hmm. 12 of 2. And on 12, normal morale. Or no, pin test check, sorry. Jesus. Unarmed, armed, half squad. Uh, how do we even mark? Oh, I should mark this escape there. Escaped and, and pinned escape dudes. Did the house squad pin? Uh, it's a six, so they they pass. Yeah, but morale. you you only pin if you equal a, a norm a morale check. If you equal on a pin, they're fine. I can shot. So I don't even think you get the firepower for that, so yeah, that full shot fails. So do you wanna uh um do you wanna instigate a house roll real quick? No, it's alright. We'll keep going. You sure? Because the, the house roll that um uh, that I'm thinking of is uh, uh, essentially players have a chit and uh, whoever ha yeah we don't okay. have mulligans it's okay Assault move in the trench. Okay. He's fine. Okay. Defensive fire. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, the MMGs will all shoot at K5. That is... Oh, it is an inside range. Uh, so that's a 16 up 2. Uh, you're a sniper, and uh, 
Excellent 16, 2 MC. Oh, and Raider's Rare. They will shoot again, and nothing. Uh, P4 drops concealment, and they will shoot at P3 uh, for 8 flat, uh, 1 MC. You take another wound check. Uh, it's uh, one dice for one check. Sorry. Uh, yeah, he would die. Oh, they pass. Um. Only because the hero died. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, O5 will shoot at uh, M5, which I think they'll get Crag times two. So it's a uh, four up four. No, four they don't hmm? There's no hmm? rule about that one. You take the higher of the two. If it's split, you only take the higher one? Oh, okay. Well, in any case, it's a, it's a 12. J3 will shoot at K5 for 4 of 2. That's a miss. Uh, both K4 and K3 will shoot at J4. That's good. That's uh, a plus 2. So looking at... Um, I'm not going to have the... Uh, Freed prisoners shoot. It's not worth it. Um, 14, uh, 18 up 2. So 16, uh, what is it? 11 on 16? PTC. Shit, okay. Uh, the Fireface. Throw the DC. Throw the DC. Sure, I'm not going to do anything with it, but that's all right. You never know. You never know. Well, let's see. It's 30 up 5. Uh, it's a plus 2 for throwing into an adjacent, isn't it? 
plus two for throwing into adjacent, plus two for the trench, plus one for advanced fireplace. Oh, there's a plus one for advanced fireplace? I thought you... 23.2 AFDH. So that is an 11 on 30. That's a 1 MC. MC. And it's plus 6 against my hex because I get an extra one. So that's going to be a 13 on 30. I thought it was. I thought you only used the 1 roll. A separate DR is used to resolve oh. the attack by throwing PC on each location. Uh, one MC, one, one, one. Break. Uh, there's a break. Big break. Uh, the um, the freed prisoners are fine, but it generates a sniper. Uh, okay, let me do my rallies here. Or my, uh, I have an okay. NMC on my guys. Or leader. Succeeds. Squad succeeds. Next squad fails. It's an NFC, yeah. But, yeah, but it does not, so they're just pinned again. Or no, they're nothing. Uh, and then the uh, crew fails. Sniper. Four hexes in the five regiment. Kills uh, the leader. Night. Was the leader the pin swap will similarly fire because why not? Two of two. They're halved and then halved, aren't they? Oh yeah, uh, one. Is it so? It's six, one up two. three, one and a half. Yeah, one of two. We'll fire at the okay. foxhole. Mm -hmm. Rip three. And that's it. These guys surrender. As I believe these guys, you have good order. No, no, you don't. Well, yes, you do. No, because they're not. Um, free prisoners are considered armed. At least not as far as I I know. Uh, okay, then they will stay in their trenches. Um, my routes, I have to, uh, these guys can route, uh, they will go 
technically the closest uh, is J4, but they can't because it's adjacent to where it's going to be adjacent. But there's yeah, but uh, I guess I guess technically. Order, right? It doesn't have to be just. Yeah, I just forget if they can still be adjacent. I guess it doesn't stop it. Um, so they'll run to J4 and then continue to I4. And uh, it'll stay there. And that's it for Rex. I think we're winding down here. Do you want to try sure. to finish this turn? Uh, weather, six, nothing. Rally. And, uh, I'll try to rally uh, I6. Nope. And do we have anybody else that can rally? Nope. Uh, DM will come off of I4. Uh, uh, I, I don't have sure. leaders with anybody else. Uh, I don't well, yeah, but he's in terrain. He gets a plus one for a self rally. Yeah, literally on the cusp. Okay. All right, now comes the giant rally stacks. Uh, we'll start with these guys. Uh, there's no leader there. There is a leader here, though, so we can go to them. I think I have to do the self rally first. Uh, if you're with a leader, no, you don't have to. Right, let's go talk to Bob. So, plus three, so that's a no. But I think that guy. Uh, yeah, gonna... the the crew will definitely rally, and then they can try repairing. MMGs will shoot at L4. It's, uh, it's the range of that. 11, 10. So it's uh, instead of 16, that's 12. And it's uh, up 2. So 9 on 12 at NMC. And rate. Oh, no, wait, no, they don't. Sorry. Leader's pit. Uh, so, rate of fire, they'll shoot again. Uh, 6 up 2 on 12. Uh, 2 MC. And the rates. Yeah. I, I can't go through yeah. I'm done. God, how many... Yeah, 7.65, 705. And really, like, the only reason I have high... Uh, if, if any are anywhere high, it's because of the uh, CC rolls. Yeah, I'm trying to think of, of, I think this one needs to have the, um, the Soviet balance. Because the only other way to, like, 
do anything would be, I guess, to to have set up a little bit more forward, but it's not like it gives you... Um, like, I don't... I mean, I yes, I did screw up because I, I read that wrong. I thought I had to be above right. four and not four. So, yeah, there was a little bit of that, but this wood line down here means basically anything on that side you basically can't see unless yeah. it's well back I... here. So this whole section here means you can pretty much come right up into yeah. right up Yeah, and top. that's the... over here are much better. Mm. I, f I wonder, so the... Um... Thinking about it, I wonder if, uh, like, I6, J6. Um, but, again, the, the problem is, is would be retreating. And I think that with uh, uh, the scenario giving four MMGs to, to the Americans is probably, is probably too much. I think I would... The, the U.S. Ba uh, the Bolshevik balance of deleting two crews and two uh, MMGs is... Uh, probably should be the standard well i mean historically they did clear them out with machine guns so yeah, that makes but... sense um you wasted quite so many troops um over up on that that hill i'm not sure what was going on over there uh, oh here. so the so the idea was uh i i was gonna have a squad here and then shoot up over here and then if i if I could get up here and you'd retreated to like that, the left side, then I could get in a in circle that way. That was like the only reason for that guy. It wasn't that. It was why you so many squads. Like I could see one squad going. Well, I had a there, I but... had a second squad. Everybody else was really just gonna try and go around through the back, because getting up any of these hills is uh is tough when you when it's the hill plus the elevation change. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely tough on, on time for the Americans. You have to risk a lot, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think it's just, um, a matter of like breaking it. The MMG was not only breaking it, but, uh, eliminating it afterwards is like, okay, well, you know, you get two MMGs and I think they got one attack out of it. I mean, that's what I was saying. I mean, the there is actually line of sight down in here. Mm. Well, we can't see it now because yeah. the LOS is busted. But like, they do actually have a few bits of of LOS down in here. But it's like I gotta remember which specific right. hexes they are. And I don't know. I, believe me, it it feels super gamey to sit there with the map, like to set up the map in a separate scenario and right, do LOS right. checks for. Or I send it over to you or whatever. Um, I don't know. I just I don't want to put the effort in, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, and then um, like the guy that surrendered uh, in that melee, that was just like, of of all the friggin', like of course you roll snake eyes and then box cars right after, because otherwise you would have pinned those guys down for uh, at least a turn, and then shooting into there would. Yeah, I mean that was my hope. Over there. Like I, I really I had it was all dumb. Oh. Over here. The only non dumb oh. ones were yeah, uh, yeah. like these guys. So this was just, hey, let me sucker in some of your troops to delay you a bit as you go through this, because this terrain is really kind of crappy. Like, these are all extra, like, you probably should have, I don't know, I can't remember if you've yeah. not going up these, but these are all elevated. Yeah, so I have the CX on, so. everywhere. It was annoying. Um, it's like, I don't know. I mean, maybe somebody that's actually good at defense could have pulled it off. Uh, but, well, so, so if, like, if I'm being completely honest, like, uh, I have two moves. If I didn't break every well, the the leader and I guess technically everybody else in L four, um, you'd still have a chance because the only thing you need is one guy to be alive, right? Yeah, sure, but here's the the problem. The only guy that I've got that's really worth the damn is this guy. Okay, so this hex that hex breaking was just kind of a like ice well that's that's what, what i'm saying like if okay. had they had that uh, uh stack not broken then like still moving into those hexes is still dangerous for for my uh, my guys um i just i feel like with the advancing fire thing i don't think it's quite as bad a deal like you could actually put a significant firepower on these guys from these two hexes or from 
these two. Yeah, yeah. well, I mean, provided they they pass their like any shots against them, but yeah, you're you're not uh, you're not wrong on that. Another one. And these guys up here. Yeah, they're fakes. Yeah. That's my other dummy unit. So yeah, they're just there to kind of make you be a little cautious up there. But I think you probably figured out they were fakes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. I, I, the fakes are annoying because they're not helpful. <laughs> like yeah, they can kind of delay you, but because the train is so crappy, I can't actually like like you're going to be on top of them and then in CC yeah. with them and then they're gone. You know, it's like. I, I don't know. I mean, unless I stuck them in trenches to make you think, but then they're not firing, so it becomes pretty obvious after a turn or two. Oh, okay, not. hold on. Because uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about now. Where the heck was your hip guy? Oh, I like didn't even notice. Okay. Yeah, he on he had a. a I retreated a, a, a concealed stack on top of him, and then. When you moved up adjacent into P6, I opened up with the. It was the guy oh, with the machine gotcha. guy. Gotcha. Yeah, that was going to be the. Uh, I, I figured you were going to try and maneuver up here. These guys were just basically there to sucker your troops out a little bit and then pull back, but that didn't right. work out so well. Um, you know, I, I don't know. Could the fox have been used up here? Maybe. I don't know. I find retreating in this game is difficult at best. Yeah, you, it, it's. Um... Especially since this doesn't like the 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 way that the uh, the hill is, it doesn't offer as much, uh, I guess, security if you want to call it that, than the um, than the last two or three scenarios, than a lot more um, a lot more woods on hexes. Um, yeah, it's like the problem is that you can yeah. get right up next to, you, and with your with the advancing fire bonuses and the firepower that you've got, that's really bad because you're probably going to get a pretty significant firepower, you know, 12 or, or um, 16 against me, and that's just going to be unpleasant for me, even with foxholes and trenches, which yeah. Fox, you know, well, it's, it's sort of why I, I really, really question trenches only being a plus two, it's like, what the hell is the point? <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's I think the the weird part would be like foxholes are two, but trenches are two, and I kind of feel like if trenches are two, then foxholes should be one, or you know, it seems weird that those are equal. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is one of the other of them needs to be either adjusted up or down. So yeah. either foxholes are one and or two, or foxholes are yeah. two and trenches are three. But oh, oh well. Um, yeah, no, it's it, it's it was frustrating, but a lot of it was just dice. I'm not I'm yeah. not worried about it. I mean, you know, I could have defended a little bit better, but eh, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure how much better. I, I, uh, like basically, what I'm hoping for is to break you probably two turns, so that you just don't have enough to get. Yeah. Well, I mean, field. you can see like the the breaks were, like I I have to get to that to to the objective, right? And it's like if I leave the 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 leaders behind, then I don't have as good firepower. So it's is trading off having five broken squads. Um, but yeah, also just uh, dice rolls. Um, next one is Deadly Slay Ride. Eight turns, so that's when, that one's going to be big. And there's uh, seven SSRs, Jesus Christ. Uh, did you have a preference for what side uh, you wanted to play on that one? It, it's Russians versus Russians. White Russians move first. What are we looking at here? Overcast with yeah. falling snow, possible brown snow, hand to hand CC. Oh, that's fun. White Russians win at the end of any game turn by earning 21 LVP without suffering 44 CVP. White Russian prisoners count double during play. What does row houses are NA, but the black bars are part of each building? Uh, where is that? All the row houses. Oh, uh, so I think. Uh, the way I would translate it is that um, there's no such thing as row houses, obviously, and. Uh, I guess it just means that the black bars don't block 
movement through those buildings. Black bars are part of each building. What could it? Yeah, I don't quite get what that's supposed to mean. Like, there is theoretically the possibility of demolition charges and you could do breaches, but I guess that doesn't. Yeah, apply. I think that's I what know. it's saying is that you can't. You wouldn't be able to do breaches that way. The sleds and zombies. Yeah, horses, sledges, chunkas. Uh, white Russians get a bunch of weird stuff. Also, like, 44 CVP is gonna suck to chunkas. Um, Doing their setup. Huh. Four setups set of truths. We see on step terrain, woods or pine woods. Yeah, I guess I, I could always uh, just flip a coin or something. And we'll pick this up on, uh, on Friday. Cool. Yep. Alright, so I'll, I'll try to let you know by like tomorrow or Monday or something for uh, for which side is which. Yeah, no problems. Uh, once I figure that out, I'll, if I'm. I will let my my Discord pick what uh, what my cool. choices are. So all right. Oh, and I I kicked Gradenko over to the thread. Just uh, he hadn't realized that. Oh, he did. Oh, all right. So he might he may come in and come. Uh, well, do you know if he's interested in being um, a third player? Uh, he might be, but. He is on Philippines time, so Ooh, he is yeah, way that's... out of our time zone. Well, that actually not... I don't think that'd be too bad, would it? Because it'd be... Philippines is... It's like 11 hours, like that. So yeah, the, the problem is that it's going to be like... Like the Friday night game is going to be like mid, mid to the yeah. morning, I think, for him on Saturday. So it's just a question gotcha. of whether he has built, built. But he might cool. press it up. And if not, then whatever. We'll, we've still got time. We've still got uh, one, two, three. Three scenarios, right? Yeah, three, three scenarios. So. All right. Yeah, sounds good. I will. Cool. Talk to Have a good one. Well, that was unfortunate for dice rolls. Yeah, how would I set up? How would I set this up? Maybe a hip squad in J6, I6? It seems central enough. And if the American player doesn't get into your hex, then, you know, you shoot at them when they're in J5 or J4 or K6. Then they can't even route anywhere. Well, not technically, I guess. This, yeah. If you're, if anybody's watching this and, and considering playing this scenario, uh, Try giving the Russians the balance. Uh, 16 firepower that you can just drop on anything is kind of uh, strong, considering the, the Russians don't really have much to fight back with. I guess technically, you know, you could shoot an MMG at, at you know, one of, the, one of the groups, but every shot you make against uh, the American MMGs means you're not, you can't really do anything against anybody else. Like, if it's your only option, sure, cool, but otherwise, it seems to me like, um, that was a little, uh, uh, a little too strong for the Americans. And I don't think his, 
like historical side of things really matters either. Eleven CVP though, that's not a lot. You gotta be really careful as the Americans when you're moving up. I thought I was gonna lose those two. Uh, um, the the two guys that went prisoners. That was that was rough for me. I thought I was gonna lose them. I wonder if no quarter would have been a better idea. But I don't know. Um, yeah. Well, uh, to anybody still watching, thanks. Uh, come back next week on Friday, same time. Um, we'll have Deadly Sleigh Ride, aka uh, ASL Scenario FT124. Uh, again, it's another Left Not Cigar scenario. Um, we're getting through most of them. I think it's left. Yeah, we don't hit a non uh, from the seller pack scenario for like six more scenarios. Uh, until after one uh, scenario one two eight, so if we're at one two three, it's one two three four five. Yeah, five more scenarios from the from the pack, then two non pack scenarios, and then back to the uh, pack for like eight more or something. Crazy. But yeah. Anyways, we're gonna have some snow, uh, a lot of a lot of guns and stuff for the uh, Red Russians. I feel like whoever gets that side might be in a bit of an advantage, but I guess we'll see. So uh, until then, see you next time.